Okay guys, so this is going to be a quick and easy tutorial on how to import models and textures into Unigen. First and foremost, open up Unigen and we're going to create a new project. We're going to stick with the default settings, create new project, and while that's being built, I'm going to minimize Unigen and I'm going to open up Blender. Blender is my preferred modeling software. Now when we open up Blender, it's going to present you with a default cube, a camera, and a light source. You're going to want to delete that light source delete that camera because they will be imported with your cube into Unigen. Once you have your cube, you're going to want to do one thing, and that is to apply a material over all the faces of that cube. Once that's complete, you can export your model. Export it as a .fbx. Unigen supports different model file extensions, but fbx is recommended. We're going to name it box, it doesn't matter what you name it, and we're going to export it to the desktop. It doesn't matter where you export it, I'm just doing it to the desktop for convenience. Now we have our one model file, box.fbx. We need our texture file as well, so I'm going to open up this folder that has a bunch of old random textures in it from the past. We will use this stone.jpg texture. It's just a seamless stone texture that I found off of Google most likely and we're going to use it to apply over the surfaces of our box model. Now that you have your model and your texture that you want to use, you're going to open up Unigen and that project should be completed. Open editor for that project and you'll see my screen opens up on the right side here. That's just so that we can work over the desktop and the editor at the same time. Importing your model and your texture is probably the easiest thing you'll do at this point now that they're created. All you do is select your model and texture from the desktop and literally drag it into your asset browser in Unigen. We are working in the data folder in our asset browser and our data folder is displayed here where we dropped our model and texture file. You'll also notice that there is a previewer on the right side to preview your stone.jpg texture or your box.fbx model. When you import your model, it's going to create a folder called materials. Open that folder and you'll see a file called material.mat. This is where you want to apply your texture so that it actually shows up on the model. Once you have your model and texture in the asset browser, to get it into the viewport, you literally just drag it into the viewport. So you select it from the bottom in the asset browser and you bring it into the viewport. That is how you bring your models into Unigen. Super simple. Now you'll notice our cube is white and it doesn't have a stone texture. That's because we haven't supplied our texture to the cube yet. To do that, you're going to open up your materials folder select this material.mat file that's where you want to inject your texture when you select that material.mat file it's going to open up the parameters for it on the right side here you can switch through your common states textures and parameters tabs but you're only going to need to work in your textures tabs for now and you're going to see albedo albedo whatever it is that is your base texture. That is where your stone.jpg needs to be so that we can see it on our cube. Now, without deselecting material.mat, because we want to keep this parameters window open, we're going to single select our data folder in the asset browser so that we can see our stone.jpg. And we're going to drag that stone.jpg into our parameters window on the right here where it says albedo and we have an M and we have a box to put it into once you do that you're gonna see the new texture be applied and now we have our cube with a stone texture applied to it in game we can simulate physics as we're editing or you can also join into the game and you will see your cube with the texture applied to it now you have to realize this is a super basic simple tutorial this is how you get your model into Unigen and this is how you apply a texture to it now you can have multiple textures for example your normals or your ambient occlusion or your um, basically other layers that can add some depth or beauty to your texture I'll show you guys how to do that in later tutorials but for now 
This is as simple as it gets, a model and a texture.